Given his role in the Koch vote, how can we count on Howard to defend the culture of Berkshire and ensure that the future management of Berkshire does not benefit at the expense of its shareholders? As I mentioned in <clears throat> at least one interview, I voted for, not, I'm not referring to Koch here necessarily, but I not only voted for comp plans that were far from what I would have come up myself, but I, I voted for acquisitions that I didn't think make much sense. I voted against a few, uh, uh, and they attracted a lot of attention, uh, but they, they were big ones where I really think, where I thought it really made a difference. But the nature, and this is something worth exploring generally, because the nature of, of boards <clears throat> is such that they're part business organizations and part social organizations, and, and people behave uh, in some ways uh, with their business brain, and they behave to some extent with their social brain. And I would say, and I said this, that in 55 years of being on corporate boards uh, and 19 companies aside from Berkshire, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a comp committee report come in and get a, a dissenting vote. And the social reason for that is that the board organizes itself in a way whereby certain activities are delegated to a smaller portion of the board, one being a compensation committee, and uh, that committee presumably meets for a few hours or the day before the, the meeting or maybe the morning of the meeting, <clears throat> and then they go into a board meeting and the comp committee reports on its activities, and you've delegated that activity as a board member to that group. It's almost, it's almost unheard of to question it. I'm not saying that maybe it shouldn't be questioned, but I'm just saying that that is the way it, it works. <clears throat> now, bear in mind <clears throat> <clears throat> that the so-called independent directors <clears throat> on such a board are probably receiving maybe $200,000 a year, maybe $300,000 a year. <clears throat> Believe me, they are not independent. They're independent <clears throat> as measured by some standards, perhaps, of the SEC, <clears throat> but they, uh, you know, how would you feel about having a job that required you to go to work four or six times a year, pleasant company, you know, certain amount of prestige attached with it, and on top of it, you get paid maybe $300,000 a year, and you kind of hope to get another job like that? That is not independence. So you get a group coming in like that uh, from the comp committee, <clears throat> and in those 19 boards, I was put on the comp committee exactly once. Charlie might be able to tell you exactly what the result was that time. They do not look for Dobermans. Uh, they, they look for Cocker Spaniels, and, and then they make sure that the, the tails are wagging. And, but that is, don't condemn it too much, because you and I are doing similar things in other parts of our lives. Uh, you know, the, the social dynamics are important uh, in board actions. Uh, my son, Howard, in fact, my other two children as well, if they were involved, you know, they, they would have a dedication and do have a dedication to the culture of Berkshire, which is clearly defined. It's one of the reasons I want it clearly defined. And it's reinforced by the behavior and it's reinforced by results. And incidentally, their job would not be to set the compensation. Uh, I mean, the, the, the non-executive ch board chairman is not there to select the compensation uh, of the CEO or others. He's not there to select the CEO. He is there to facilitate a change if the board of directors decides the change is needed, and that's, that, that can be important, very, very, very unlikely to be important in the case of Berkshire, but it's a nice little extra safety valve. It's, and, uh, and Howie's the, per the perfect guy to carry that out. And uh, like I say, I, I, voted for, I voted for comp plans uh, at various places, including, uh, including way back, you know, at Coke, that were far from what I would have design myself, and the ones I designed myself would have worked, but that's, uh, that is the way boards work. Uh, uh, I was made chairman of one comp committee, and Charlie can tell you a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Warren was totally voted down at Solomon Inc. In fact, people acted like, what the hell is he doing? 
how could he be disapproving compensation on Wall Street? And, and I think the general idea that, that a person should just shout disapproval all day long of everything he disapproves of uh, is very suspect. In the world in which we inhabit, people accomplish more if they pick their spots. And knowing both Howie and Warren Buffett, I don't think you have to worry that they're going to go crazy or be soft and foolish just because they don't shout all the time about everything they disapprove of. If we all did that, we wouldn't be able to hear each other. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, if, you, if you're in, in any social organization, you, you keep belching at the dinner table, you'll be eating in the kitchen before very long. And, and, and people won't pay any attention to you. I mean, you, you, you really have to, you not only have to pick your spots, you have to pick how you do it. I mean, you, you that, that could even be, I mean, sure, Charlie gives the marital advice around here, as you noticed in the, uh, in the movie, but, but it's not even a bad thought to keep in mind in marriage. I mean, in terms of, of uh, attempting to change the behavior of others, which is, you'll have a very limited ability to do in any event. It's not helped by shouting a lot. I offend more people than you do, and I'm quite satisfied with your level of disapproval. 